How to create animated GIFs in Canva. Hey guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I'll break down step by step how you can create an animated GIF in Canva. So let's get started. Now, GIFs can be a great way to react to messages as well as to encourage a more playful conversation. And building your own custom GIFs can help you in creating more personalized reactions to any conversation that you're having. So to get started, first off, go into custom size on the top right and choose the size of your canvas. So make sure to convert it from pixels into inches and depending on what type of device you will be using this on, you can choose a particular size. I'm gonna use a two by two inch canvas size and one thing to keep in mind is that with Canva, you can always redesign or resize your designs. So you don't have to really worry about it as long as you just design it in correct proportions. Once you've completed that, it's time to start designing your GIF. Now for my GIF, I want to maybe write a congratulations note. So whenever a friend tells me any good news, I can tell them congratulations. So on the left panel, go into elements and search for congratulations. Now, once you do that, go into graphics over here and you will see certain moving elements like this one. Now, these elements are going to work really well in terms of a GIF. So I'm going to rotate this element to 90 degrees like so. And then command C and then command V. And then I'm going to flip it vertically like this. So now we have this, you know, cool little illustration and it looks really nice, but it's time to actually put in the words congratulations. And you guys can see there are going to be, you know, a lot of simple GIFs, but I am looking for a um, element with movement because that is what I'm focusing on. There's also these balloons that are moving like this. I think this is pretty much enough. I'm just gonna look for the word congratulations, like this one, yeah. So it says congrats over here, like this. And you can, you know, pick out any style that you like. You can even search for things like fireworks. So if I search for fireworks over here, and then go into graphics, you will see there are some fireworks that you can pick out from as well. I think this design looks a bit too busy, so I'm going to, tone it down a little with the clapping hands as well like this and then i'll add these little simple fireworks on the top so once i've completed my design to actually be able to save my gif all i have to do is click on share on the top right once you click on share on the top right click on download and once you click on download click on the file type in your file type at the end, you will have the option of GIF, short clip, no sound. Click on this option and you will be able to also customize the size and choose a transparent background if you want. Then click on download over here and just like that, in a couple of seconds, your GIF will now be downloaded and you can use it in your texts, in your messages, in your presentations and much more. So this is our GIF over here. You guys will see in my current display view, obviously it's not going to be moving, but uh, if you have saved it as a GIF and where you actually send it out as a GIF, you can see over here that if I open it up as a GIF, it is going to have all of its original movement. So make sure when you're viewing it in the photo viewer, so because I don't have a designated viewer for GIFs, it's not going to display the GIF, but in the preview, it's actually showing me the correct GIF. And if I send it in a message or in any other platform, I would be able to do so. Now, what happens if you want to animate a stagnant element? So let's tone this down a bit and I'll show you guys another example of creating a GIF. So let's say I go into uploads on the left panel over here. And let's say in my uploads, I want to maybe take this image and, you know, I, I want to add some movement into this image. So how can I do that? Well, first off, I might want to remove the background. And to do that, just click on the image, go into apps on the left, and then search for remove background. 
and you will find the background eraser and just click on choose file you can upload your image file over here but i'm just gonna keep the original color now you incorporate some, some type of movement into a uploaded graphic or a simple graphic so it could be any simple graphic even from element so let's say i search for a bird like this because that is gonna look a bit more suitable so let's say i really like this particular bird but it doesn't move it, it's not animated so the way that you can do that is simply by inserting your vector image then click on animate on the top there are a few different types of pre-existing animations that you can use this includes the basic animations like scrapbook animations, motion effects as well, as well as the pulse effect, wiggle effects like this. Now, these are all great if you want to add a one space GIF. So if you are fine with that, these are great animations you can apply. Simply choose the animation from the left panel. Once you've chosen the animation, click on share and then click on download. Then follow the same steps where you're going to download this as a GIF instead of a MP4 file. Once downloaded, go into your folder and you will see your new GIF. So you guys can see our GIF has now been created. However, if you're someone that is looking to build a specific pathway, so you want your bird to go from here to there, how can you do that? Well, for that, you can go into the particular bird or element, click on it, then click on the animation on the top. From here, you will see this section on the left called Tools. Click on Create an Animation and you will be able to move the bird and bring out a pathway like this. So what I'm going to do is first off, I'm going to remove its regular animation and then I am going to see what the custom animation is going to look like. So I'm going to place the bird right at the edge of my canvas. Then I can choose the speed at which my bird should move. And then I'll make it more smooth like this. And just like that, I have created my own custom direction for my GIF animation. And once you create your custom animation, you can go into the file type and save that as a GIF as well. So it's really that easy to build your own customized animations and to bring movement. Now, and once I have created, you know, my custom animation and I will first delete the path and I'll build a new path for this. So I'm just going to add a simple little path like this and then I can go into elements and then search for trees and then I can add some simple trees as the background like this. So let's say we have a couple of trees over here. Command C and then Command V, Command C, Command V. I'll place all of these like so and I'll layer them towards the back over here. Then making sure, I'll click on show all layers and I'll make sure to place my bird at basically the forefront layers like this. Then I can go on ahead, go into its custom animation, delete its path and then set a new path for my little birdie over here like this and I'll increase the speed and I'll make it super steady and smooth like this and I can also choose to orient the element to the path and just like that we have this really interesting gif that we can now create so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe